Today, we are opening a first edition Hobby Booster Box of Power of the Duelist. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Card Breaker. Welcome back to another epic video. We are finally getting the chance to crack into our first edition Hobby Box of Power of the Duelist to continue our hunt for some amazing Ultimate Rare Elemental Heroes. Now, this will be a live stream video. I'll take clips from that video because I know not everyone has the time to watch live streams, but let's see if we can finally pull us an ultimate rare elemental hero. Before we get into today's opening, you guys know I've got you with an epic giveaway, like always. We're giving away these three cards to one lucky winner. And for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video, make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you guys ring that bell, and just let me know your favorite card that was pulled in this live stream and your favorite card from Power of the Duelist as well. But let's get into this live stream and hope that things go well. Here we go. Five beautiful packs of Power of the Duelist for my guy, Michael P. Sutton. Let's see what we can do. Good luck, Mike. Everyone wish him good luck in the chat. We want, we want everyone to take home something good in this break. Let's go. Let's see some... Well, I just completely ripped that one, so never mind actually salvaging that one. We've got, we've got four other packs. Four other packs. We will do a little pack trick because there's only 24 packs to go through today, so I want to keep this suspense a little bit higher. I want everyone to be on the edge of their seat as we go through these packs. All right, we got the Mausoleum of the Emperor, the Decoy Roid. Let me move our light up and back a little bit. There we go. The Bite Lawn, Destiny Mirage, Contact, Alien Gray, Fossil Excavation. We got the Viacroid Connection Zone. I believe this is our. Central Rare and Hollow, it is the Dark City. Ooh, <laughs> this is actually a really beautiful retail rare, so no first pack magic for him, but that's okay. He's got four more packs to go. Let's go, guys. We've got the Bite Lawn again. The Destiny Hero, Hero Blade Master got too ahead of myself there. I don't think there's any commons that are worth crazy amounts of money, but they're just, they're still so nostalgic. They really are. Crop Circles. The Rescue Roid, classic Cyrus card. Synthetic Seraphim. Elemental Hero Neos, baby. Look at that guy, the original print, the vanilla hero himself. We got the Orbital Bombardment. And what do we have? It's a trap card, the Supercharge. Ooh, two packs down, no ulti yet. Two packs down, no ulti yet. Here we go. We are three packs in so far. No hollows yet. No ultimate rares. That's okay. Miracle Jurassic Egg. The Crop Circles. Fake Hero. Alien Hunter. Synthetic Seraphim. Ambulance Rescue Roid. Got the Alien Gray. Viacroid Connection Zone. And what do we have? Another spell card is the Future Fusion. This is another one. Like, honestly, Power of the Duelist and Strike of Neos have some of the best, absolute best looking retail rares. Alrighty, pack number four for Mike. Come on, Mike. We've got the Black Stego. Destiny Hero Defender. That's a cool looking guy. Destiny Hero Blade Master. The Wonder Garage. Baby Sarosaurus. Absolutely adorable. We've got the Contact. Chrysalis Dolphin. And here we go. Trap card. The Cyber Summon Blaster. Oh my gosh, Mike. <laughs> Did we shuffle them all to the back again? Oh gosh. Oh, Mike, last pack. Let's see what we can do on our very last pack for you, my friend. Let's get you something good. I'm here to support my large friend who has trouble opening small packs of cards. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Regardless of how much you want to give some support and some love, I don't care if it's hate and flame. It's just, it's pretty funny regardless. Alrighty, Mike, let's see. We've got our very last pack for you. Let's see what we can get. The Rallus, the Starbird. Alien Skull this time, not Alien Gray. Royal Writ of Taxation. Sabersaurus. D Spirit. Chrysalis Dolphin. Got the Black Terra. Flying Saucer Musiki. And what do we got? It is the Submarine War. Oh, he struck out. No hollows, unfortunately, for my guy Mike. I would definitely hook you up with something, my friend. I very much appreciate you joining this break. So let's see what we can do for Danny. We've got two packs. Two packs. Definitely shuffled too well. <laughs> I like keeping the suspense a little bit high. I do. Here we go, guys. Got to get some good stuff. Let's get some good stuff. Three, four. Let's get some good stuff for Danny. I don't want to spoil any of the cards. We've got the Fake Hero. Alien Hunter. Brainwashing Beam. Miracle Jurassic Egg. 
the baby Sarasaurus, Chrysalis Dolphin, the Paths of Destiny, my guy Warrior Digreffer coming in, the Ambulance Rescue Roid, I think our next card is an Effect Monster, what do we got? Ooh, the Destiny Hero Dogma, so we got him a super, it was bound to happen, you know, since Mike didn't get a hollow in those first five packs, it was definitely bound to happen that there was a hollow coming up sometime soon. Trip says, what are we wanting to pull? We want to see the cover card. We want to see, of course, the Elemental Hero Dark Neos. And then a big one, of course, is the Chimera Tech Overdragon. That is by far one of the most expensive cards in this box. There's honestly just a lot of really good cards in this set. Uh, you really can't go wrong with pretty much any of the ultis for the most part. There's some pretty good ones, that's for sure. All right, guys. Last pack for Danny. He got us a super, at least. And I'm very happy we got him something at the Fake Hero... Crop Circles, Baby Sarasaurus, Contact, Chrysalis Dolphin, The Ambulance Roid. Is this our last card? I think it is. Our last card. What do we have? It's another effect monster, guys. Another effect monster. What is it? Oh, it's the alien mother. Hey, Dragon, you might have done it again, my boy. You might may have done it again. <laughs> Let's see who this is going to be. Woohoo! It's my guy, SD Collector, TCG with four packs. So this is the one who actually sold us the box and he's opening up four packs for himself. So I think this is one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get him something as a return for selling us this beautiful booster box. All right, so everyone says it's okay. We're gonna keep this rolling. Appreciate that, everyone. We've got the Ambulance Roid, the Decoy Roid, Miracle Jurassic Egg. We've got the Crop Circles, Wonder Garage, Elemental Hero Neos coming in himself. The D Spirit, and then we've got one more card, Flying Saucer Musiki. Alrighty, what do we have? It is an effect monster. It is the ultimate Tyranno. I had a feeling it was just gonna be a hollow just by the way that card like bend a little bit. So hollows tend to warp in different ways, of course, than other cards. Rares sometimes can kind of confuse people, like especially myself included. They sometimes look like they can be hollows. I don't know why they warp like that, but they just do. Typically, ultimate rares do not warp because of the stamping. It's just a very thick thick stamp I guess so it helps kind of keep it protected that way one two three four here we go guys here we go ultimate Tarina honestly looks insane I sold a ultimate rare I think I had an unlimited one that I regrettably sold I wish I didn't sell but you know it is what it is things happen things happen I need to sleeve that up for him before I get that mixed in too much common soul destiny hero blade master alien hunter the D spirit flying saucer musiki Another Elemental Hero Neos. What do we get? It's a trap card. Oh, one more. One more. One a garage. One more, guys. And it is the Destiny Hero Double Dude. There is our first Ultimate Rare. How fitting that the person who sold us the box gets him an Ultimate Rare. There we go. Our very first one. We've got two more to go. Two more to go for SD Collector. But as you guys know, anything can happen. Anything can happen with some of these packs. So let's continue this crazy booster box. Let's see what we can do. Got the Alien Hunter, the Common Soul, Sabersaurus, Royal Writ of Taxation, Rescue Roid, the Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos, Orbital Bombardment, and it is the Neo Space. Oh, that's a beautiful card. I just pulled one of these for myself when I opened up some of these packs, and it looks stunning. I love that card so much. Alrighty, last pack for SD Collector. I know he's going to be very hyped to pull that one. So let's see what we can do in this very last pack before we go in to the one pack for Yugi Boy and then, of course, the four for K Dragon. There's the four, the 12. Uh, this is four. I was looking at four and said four when I meant 12. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Saversaurus, Destiny Hero, Defender, Common Soul, Synthetic Seraphim, Ambulance Rescue Roid, The Alien Gray. We've got one more card, Via Croid Connection Zone. It is a spell card, the spell calling. Oh, K Dragon. Oh, this is this is crazy. It's really coming down to it. It is really coming down to it. Weren't you? You were the last person to go in the last box break too. Who's it gonna be? It's Yugi Boy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. K Dragon. Oh, I'm I'm sweating for you, dude. I am sweating for you. Oh my gosh. One pack. One pack magic for Yugi Boy. Let's see how this goes. Pressure is most definitely on. Here we go. If I can actually get this one opened. Yugi definitely, uh, Yugi has had some pretty crazy luck. 
Let's get this one out nice and gently, nice and carefully. I'm trying to be quick too when I shuffle these around because I do not want to see any ulti stamps or anything like that. Destiny Hero Defender, the Blade Master, Common Soul, we got the Destiny Mirage, Contact, Alien Gray, Fossil Excavation, Viacroy Connection Zone. Oh, I am so nervous. How's it? Let's go. Oh, it's the Cyclone Blade. K Dragon, you've done it again, my boy. <laughs> Uh, so as long as this is not an error box, you at least have one ultimate rare. And actually, you should have one ultimate rare, two supers, and the ultra. All 12 beautiful packs. Here we go. What's up, Zork? He says Ryan is too cool for me now. No way, dude. I don't care how big I get as a channel, you know, whether I'm at a million subs or where I'm at now, I will always have room to talk and communicate with everyone. That'll never, never, never change. Never change. Alrighty, let's go K-Dragon. Let's see what we can get for you, my friend. Miracle Jurassic Egg, the Mausoleum of the Emperor, Decoy Roid, Fossil Excavation, Baby Cerasaurus, Contact, Wonder Garage. It's a... Oh! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Woo! K-Dragon, you got here just in time. So, a 2500. This has got to be a Neos. This is definitely a Neos monster. I don't know... I don't remember the attack of Flare Neos and Dark Neos, but I don't know if it's going to be the Ultra or if it's going to be the Ultimate. Should we should we save it, guys? Should we go straight into it? Should we save it? We got 11 packs to go. Hey, Dragon, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to save it or do it now? This is your pack. He says, <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's the Elemental Hero Aqua Neos. It's not the Dark Neos, but dude... That is huge to be able to get a hero card ultimate rare. Let's freaking go. <laughs> we still have more to go. We still have more to go. We should still obviously get at least two supers and at least, of course, an ultra rare unless we get another super. I think that's how the elemental energy break went. It was kind of funny. We got five supers and no ultra. Might not be the biggest, but box break was well worth. Dude, absolutely, absolutely. They get a pack fresh ultimate rare. Like, that's huge. Pack fresh ultimate rare hero card. I get it. It's the Aqua Neos, but honestly, dude, that's that's still just amazing. Let's go. We've got the Black Stego Brainwashing Beam, Alien Hunter, Common Soul, Synthetic Seraphim, Black Terra, Orbital Bombardment, Rescue Roid, and we've got the Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin. So getting some more hero style type cards there. Very, very nice. Let's go. This has been a great box. There are by far worse ultis that we could have pulled. And that is that is a huge hit. I know SD Collector for one is going to be happy with what he got. And then two, be happy to see what we've pulled. What's crazy? So the two boxes, I bought the Lost Millennium box from him. And we pulled the Winged Kribo for K-Dragon. And then I bought this box from him, and we pulled the, of course, Aqua Neos. That is just crazy. That is crazy. Alien Skull, the Rallus, the Starbird, Destiny Hero, Fearmonger, Viacroid, Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, Alien Gray, and it is the Cosmic Horror Gangiel. Hey Dragon, if you pulled the box ratio, you should keep the remaining pack sealed, in my opinion. Well, he does still... He still does have the... We still have one more super to go, and we still have one ultra to go. And plus, he's not someone who likes to keep stuff sealed, so I know he's not going to feel too bad if I open up the rest of these packs. But anytime we do box breaks, I think the only time I would like to keep stuff sealed or just give the option to keep stuff sealed, if it's like, you know, like a first edition, like with the Pharaoh Servant Magic Lure box we're doing, I may give that option just because those are easily scalable. However, I have seen some crazy stuff happen where uh, where you can get some pretty big pulls from light packs. Orbital Bombardment. Black Terra, and oh my god, there he is. <laughs> there is our Ultra. There's the Elemental Hero Flare Neos. This is my personal favorite Ultimate Rare, and one of my top three as far as hero cards go. This is huge, guys. Should we... Oh, let's, let's not do any more pack tricks, I don't think, since we pretty much pulled everything. Well, I don't know. Let's just keep the suspense high, because with these GX sets, like you just never know. You honestly never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Freaking... Uh, Kazuo Yugi stuff pulled, what, seven Ultimate Rares from one Lost Millennium pack, or one box? Like, anything can happen. I don't think it's going to happen with this one because of what we've already pulled, but you just never know, guys. Crazy things have happened. Elemental Hero Neos, and it is the Alien Mother. Glad we at least got him one of those Neos cards. What's up, John? How we doing? 
Will says eventually is the keyword. No, we will definitely do it, my friend. We will definitely open up those boxes. Um, you know, even if like I have to front some of it myself because I want to open up some more of that, that's for sure. Casual Yugi pulled it up. Yeah, it was definitely, it was a, it was a Euro box, you know, that has a lot to do with it just because Euro, Euro boxes and stuff have some strange printing, you know, weird quality control, things like that. All right, we got the Contact, Wonder Garage, and the D Chain. This card actually looks nice as a retail Ultimate Rare. Mark says he'll need to hop in at the EEM when it happens. It'll definitely happen. Mark, Will just got to let me know when he wants to run it. I know I've got some other stuff um, planned as far as box breaks goes. Um, oh, there might be our last super, guys. There might be the last super. Rallus the Starbird over oh, skipping them. Ambulance Roid at the Common Soul. All of our cards are kind of falling over the place over here. The Spirit. Chrysalis Dolphin, the Black Terra, Flying Saucer, and we've got the Super Viacroid Jumbo Drill. Alrighty, there we go. So I believe that should be all of the Supers, unless we have some crazy air box. Uh, I know K-Dragon wants us to rip them all open, so of course we're going to just crack them all for him, because this guy is a madman. The Egyptian Collector says, the troll has been pulled. I think, was it Ruxin that has pulled this one like three or four times as an ultimate rare every time he's opened this up? Anima says, whoops, didn't know there was a stream going on. Dude, where you been? Where you been? I, think, I don't think I put it in the Discord, to be fair, but I know I did put it on... Uh, I know I I like basically just set it as a live stream on YouTube, so it should have notified you guys. If it didn't, my apologies. Um, it, it's been a weird week for me. This stuff has been a weird week. The Spirit, the Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, and is the Alien Warrior. Mark says, Daddy needs a Shining Flare. <laughs> I definitely need a Shining Flare Wingman too. That card is just incredible, dude. It is absolutely incredible. And I, I don't think anyone's ever pulled one on video. Has there been one pulled? I, I can't I can't recall. You know, I haven't watched too much GXB open, you know, regardless, you know, including what's been open recently from YouTubers, but I don't recall one being pulled. Destiny Hero, Fearmonger, we've got the Via Croy Connection Zone, Fossil Excavation, and the Cosmic Horror Gangale. Ooh. So I don't think we're going to get any more hollows, but K-Dragon is just a madman and wants to have every pack ripped, so that's what we're going to do. Ooh, what's up, Crispy? How we doing? Rux Ulti Luck from GX is some of the weirdest I've seen. You aren't kidding, dude. He's had some, like, really, really good luck and then some just trash. Absolutely trash luck. <laughs> uh, Will says he's watched three vids of EEN. No flare. Yeah, that's got to be... That's why it's so expensive. Like, that card has got to be next to impossible to pull. It's got to be, like, Starlight Rare level of rarity, if I had to guess. Like, our scarcity within boxes. He says, because both of my boxes have them. Dude, they just might. They just might. Ooh, Destiny Hero Dasher. That's actually a nice one. This card is still pretty pricey, even as like a rare, because this is the first printing. When this Before this card got reprinted like recently, this was, I think, like a $20 rare. It might still be worth a couple bucks, but that's definitely a nice one to pull. We are almost done with this. What a box break. What a break. I'm very, very, very pleased with how this went. I'm very happy. You know, obviously, I want everyone to get a little bit of something. Um, of course, K-Dragon buying 12 packs. I'm, I really wanted him to get at least one ultimate rare, and he freaking blew it out of the water, dude. That is incredible. And Rallus the Starbird, Alien Skull, Destiny Hero, Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, the Bombardment, Black Terra, and the Overload Fusion. This is another really nice retail rare. This Power of the Duelist is a, such a good set. Such a good set, guys. Like, it honestly is. This will not be the last time you see us open this on the channel. We will definitely be opening some more. We got to chase that Dark Neos for my guy K-Dragon, and I honestly really want to get one of these in Ultimate Rare. That is one of my personal favorite hero monsters. So, last pack. Let's see if we get some weird stuff to happen in this very last pack as we go into the end of this box. What a box this has been. I am very pleased with the way it went. Thank you, of course, everyone for joining the box breaks, but let's see what we can get in this very last one. Let's get some weird last pack magic of just anything. Let's get like some weird ultimate rare. Let's go. Sabersaurus, the Black Stego, Baby Sarasaurus, Chrysalis Dolphin, Paths of Destiny, Ambulance Rescue Roid, and the last card is a spell. It is the Neo Space. Ah, nothing crazy on the last pack, but honestly, guys, we cannot be upset. 
there is no room to be upset. K Dragon stole the show. You know, not that we're surprised. Come on now. Have you guys seen some box breaks on the channel yet? <laughs> He got the Elemental Hero Flare Neos Ultra Rare, and then of course the beautiful Elemental Hero Aqua Neos Ultimate Rare. I do have to give a massive shout out to our channel members: Rare Hunter X, Cameron Gaming TCG, Sargoni 666, K Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Lazy Dane, Cody Slater, Pineapple Bow, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, Call Me Koya Ray, Hey Ghosty, Anna Mother Hallowed, and Ricardo Espinoza Salazar. Thank you all for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Card Breaker. I'm out.